Hey guys, welcome to Sense Saga. This is Deep, and today's video is all about summer perfumes. Perfumes which get you compliments, perfumes that last long, but perfumes which will not break the pocket. The range of perfumes that I am going to talk in this video are going to be in the price range of two hundred rupees to three thousand rupees. So if in case you have a very specific budget in mind for spending during this summer, I think this recommendation list will help you out a lot. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. So the first perfume that I have with me, which is basically to start off with the list, is from a brand. I'm hopeful that you are aware of it. If in case you are not, the name of the brand is O S R, and the perfume is called Esteem. Now this comes in. both the perfume as well as the body spray variant and one of the key reasons that i have put this into my list is because of the pricing and the quality they, that they offer for the pricing now this entire 100 ml bottle as well as the body spray which is around 200 ml is available within the price of 250 rupees this one sells for around 250 This one sells for around two hundred rupees. Within a budget of two fifty rupees, you are getting a hundred milliliter body. I mean, perfume or a two hundred milliliter body spray, which according to me is a great option since the company is making budget perfumes, affordable perfumes. So there will be some lack of quality per se because the smell seems a bit synthetic initially when you spray it. For the fifteen to twenty minutes, it does need some time for the alcohol to settle down. For that 15 to 20 minutes, it's very sharp and it's harsh. But once that 15 to 20 minutes passes by, then the I mean the perfume becomes really good, and the projection that it offers is almost uh, for one to 1.5 hours, which is great for the budget. And the longevity is around five to six hours. Again, great for the budget. Now, what does this perfume smell like? So this is an original blend. and the perfume has got i mean once you spray it you will get the hints of david of cool water but it's not an exact clone they have added spices to it they have added a bit of musk to it at the base so it becomes musky and spicy at the dry down and that is where the key differences lies between david of cool water and the clones of david of cool water and this so for a price of 250 rupees This is an inexpensive choice, and if somebody is looking for a budget-friendly perfume that should la last long, projects well, and keep you fresh, I think you can go for this one. So this is Esteem from the house of O M S R for a price of two fifty. Go and check this out, and if anybody has already used this in the past, do let me know what is your observation with it. So the next perfume that I have on my list under the same pricing and almost similar smell structure, but a bit more. Um, Oh, the blend I would say is Beardo Mariner from the house of Beardo. Now this sells for two ninety nine rupees for a fifty milliliter bottle. This is almost an identical clone of David of Cool Water. Previous one was around. I mean, it's it was an original blend with some hint of David of Cool Water. This is right off a clone of David of Cool Water. Price of two ninety nine from Beardo. Now the great thing about this perfume is again the quality of the perfume in terms of the budget. For a two fifty rupees for a fifty milliliter bottle, this is an inexpensive option for the summer. The only caveat to this perfume is the longevity. This lasts around three to three point five hours on the clothes and projects for thirty to forty five minutes. But again, this is what you get from the from the price. This has got good hints of lavender, oak moss, and um, marine notes. And this is and this is an inexpensive but awesome choice for under three hundred rupees for a. Good tone of David of Cool Water from Beardo. Do check this out. If anybody is using Beardo Mariner, do comment and let me know what is your experience with it. I kind of like it for the price. I will move on to the next one now. So the next perfume that I have on my list is of a much better quality, which sells for around five hundred and fifty rupees. But this is a twenty milliliter bottle, selling for five fifty rupees. So it might sound a bit expensive, but because of the quality of the perfume. You only need around four to five sprays to get the job done for the summer. This is Titan Skin Verge, and this is one of my favorite travel perfume because of the way it's constructed. It's a very slim, small bottle containing around twenty milliliters of the perfume, and it has got notes of spearmint. It has got notes of coriander, so it's a very fresh, spicy perfume. Projects really well. Around two hours it projects. Around six hours it stays with me. 
So for a summer, fresh, vibrant perfume, giving you minty flavors as well as spicy character. This is, uh, I mean, again, this is an original blend from Titan, not a clone of anything. But an awesome choice for the summer, Titan Skin Furs. Any one of you have used the perfume, do let me know what is your take on this one. And I will move on to the next one. Okay, so now for the price of 750 rupees, 500 to 750 rupees for the summer. I've got two options for you. Both comes from the house of Have and Duft. One of the favorite brands that I use, uh, one of the favorite brands that I have been using. Now, the one that I personally love is Pine Tone from the house of Have and Duft. This is um, somewhat a good clue of Creed Aventus. They have copied around 80 to 85% of the smell structure. This is something that I used regularly and for the summer, this is a nice choice. Okay, the smell structure has got juicy pineapple with the smokiness of bird star and at the dry down, it's mossy. It has got a bit of musky character to it. I really love the perfume. This is one of the perfumes that has got me a lot of compliments and this stays with me for a long period of time. The projection is around two hours. The smell structure is really great. The sillage is awesome and the longevity of it is around six to seven hours on the skin. When I apply it on the clothes, it stays for around 10 to 12 hours. So this is Havent of Pine Tone, which is under the budget of 750 rupees for a 50 milliliter bottle. Now, one of the other choices, if you are somebody who likes sweet perfume is Coastal India. This is a bit cheaper than Havent of Pine Tone. This sells for around 570 to 600 rupees for a 50 milliliter bottle. This is a marine perfume with the notes of bubblegummy sweet structure. And uh, personally, I don't like sweet perfumes. And that is the reason I would, I mean, I don't use it much. But somebody who's looking for an alternative to the structure of Pakuravane Invictus or Asasi Havas for that matter, this is a good choice. Now, I want to compare Havent Dove's Coastal India with Rasasi Havas. So do let me know if you would like the video for the comparison. Uh, do comment it down in the comment section below to let me know if you would love a comparison between this and Havas. Now, these were the perfumes under the range of around 750 rupees. Okay, so one more honorable mention around this same price structure is Hamidi Addicted Intense from the house of Hamidi, which is uh, a sub-brand of Afnan. Now, the own, the reason I've added this is, I mean, a lot of people might comment this is available for a 2400 price tag. Why are you including it in this one? Okay, hear me out. I just told you that I love Pine Tone, which is around 750 for a 50 milliliter bottle. So this and Hamidi Addicted Intense is almost similar in the smell structure. This is non-alcoholic and this is alcoholic. This is the only difference. However, this comes for 120 milliliter for a 2400 rupees bottle. So if you just compare the pricing per ml, this is around 15 rupees per milliliter. This is around 20 rupees per milliliter. And that is the reason I wanted to give it an honorable mention. Um, if you are going for more quantity, you are looking for a smell structure close to pine tone or create aventas and you do not want something alcoholic, you can go for this one. This is a great choice. So that is the reason I have put it into the honorable mention list. Okay, so now I will move on to the next set of perfumes that I find is awesome for the price range of 14 to 1500. This is Rasasi Fatan. This is one of my favorite perfume. And uh, the only reason that somebody will not like Fatan is in case they don't like the smell of vetiver, which is freshly cut grass, the way it smells. Do those who usually like very sweet perfumes, I don't think they will like Rasasi Fatan. But for the rest of the people, Fatan is an awesome choice for the summer. The smell is really uplifting. It has, it has got a citrusy note and the base has got vetiver. It's one of the smoothest blend from the house of Rasasi. And a lot of people say it's sharp because the citruses are very prominent when in the opening. And once it settles down, this creates a really sweet, um, not quote-unquote sweet, but a really smooth uh, citrusy sillage along with the base note of vetiver and I just personally love it. The longevity of this is around six to seven hours on the clothes, uh, uh, six to seven hours on the skin. On clothes, I have got whips from it from the next day when I apply to the clothes as well. Now, uh, the projection is around one to 1.5 hours. Uh, then it starts slowing down and then it becomes closer still. At the two to 2.5 hour mark, you can still get whips of it. 
So one of the awesome blends that I love, this is one of the clones of Terre de Hermes, which is again, a very, very, very popular designer fragrance. And it does clone the designer fragrance really well. And uh, one more thing that I need to add to this, this is a smell which would be preferred by somebody who's matured. If you're un in college or you're going to school, um, then this perfume might not be something that you would like. However, if you're in the range of 30 to 35 years or maybe older than that, I think Fatan is an awesome choice for the summer. If anybody have used Fatan, do let me know what you feel about the perfume and I will move on to the next one. The next perfume that I have on my list sells for around 23 to 2400 rupees and this is one of the best blends that I've came across. This smells really rich and this is Theorem from the house of Ruo Broca. <clears throat> this is said to be a good clone of Bulgari Tiger. I haven't smelled Bulgari Tiger so I can't really comment on that but in as far as this perfume is concerned and the smell structure is concerned this has got a note of sweet grapefruit along with us with some spices and musk and the overall blend is so soothing and it feels like this is a very rich perfume to be honest once you smell this you will feel that some rich guy is going to wear this perfume it's kind of like that the smell is really nice and the best part is for the summer this is a very good projecting perfume so once you apply it, everybody around you will be able to notice it. I'm sure you're going to get compliment out of this because I have got compliments. This is sweet, but over, not overly done. This has got spices, but not overly done. So all in all, a very well blended and balanced perfume for the summer. This will keep you refreshed as well. And the only downside that I have faced, a lot of people have commented that this is long lasting. However, for me, this only lasts around six to seven hours max and then I don't really get any I mean I don't get any waves of it it becomes a skin scent but for two hours it projects really well for five to six hours it stays with me and um, all in all for 2300 rupees for a 90 milliliter bottle uh, theorem from the house of Ro Broca is one of my personal recommendation and you can try it out and let me know how you feel about it and I will move to the last perfume on the list which is Shiro from the house of Ajmal. This is said to be a clone of Aqua Di Gio, um, but I think that Ajmal did some own tweaking onto it, making it a bit more floral, a bit more spicy, and added their own notes and made it into Ajmal Shiro, which is their own lineup. And I really love the way it smells. It has got a very sweet aquatic note along with um, marine notes as well and then it has got spices it has got mask it has got a bit of sandalwood the entire combination is awesome and the best part it projects for around two to three hours stays for around six to seven hours and then the next day you will get whips of it from the clothes if you apply it so this is that potent as well as the pricing is around 2700 to 2800 for a 19 milliliter bottle um, I was lucky that I got it for around 13 or 1400 rupees from Tata Click Palette during sale. If you get it at that price, there's nothing that comes even close to this. However, for even 2700, this is a good perfume. All in all, I would suggest if you're confused between Theorem or Ajmal Shio, I already have a video that I will put it into the cards so that you can, you know, check and make an informed decision about which one you should go for. So that was kind of the entire lineup of perfumes that I had for you today. Do let me know if in case you have used any one of these and you have got your own uh, perception towards it. I would be very happy to read them and comment on them. And I will see you on the next one very soon. Bye-bye.